Adelaide might not be as big as some of its eastern cousins, but that just means the best of what the city has to offer is always just around the corner. And that's heaps good. Glenelg, Adelaide's most famous beach, is just a short tram ride away, and Brighton and Henley are favoured by people looking to avoid the crowds. Everyone in Adelaide is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and that's because the coffee here is heaps good. For a quick fix, there's Chibo, but for the ultimate coffee experience, you can't go past Lucia's in the central markets. This Adelaide icon has been in business for over 30 years. And while you're here, check out the market itself, which is the largest undercover market in the Southern Hemisphere. I always shop for my fresh food here, but prepare yourself for a battle with the Nana trolleys if you come in on a Friday night. If you don't feel like cooking, believe it or not, Adelaide has restaurants too. My favourite restaurants are on Goodger Street, Rundle Street and the Parade in Nord, where you'll find something to satisfy even the fussiest eater. If it's pub grub you're after, the Old Lion Hotel in North Adelaide does a mean burger and beer. If you like your steaks done, heaps good, visit Soster on Rundle Street. And the Earl of Leicester in Parkside makes a pretty good palmy. There are plenty of pubs to choose from. You'll be surprised how many are hidden away in the surrounding suburbs, like the Wellington, the Queen's Head, and the Kentish Hotel. For a bigger night out, I like to head to the Oxford or the Archer if I'm in North Adelaide and the Maiden Magpie goes off on a Friday night. The Grand at Glenelg is a haven for uni students on a Sunday and the Bath and Union Hotels are great after a long day at work. But for a watering hole in one, head to the Tap In, Adelaide's iconic golf themed pub, complete with driving range and 18 hole putting green. After a big night out, O'Connell Street is the place to be to soak up all that booze. Here you can sample two of the city's finest culinary achievements. The 24-hour bakery on O'Connell is one of the few places you'll find a pie floater, a dish comprising an upside-down pie covered in pea soup. Across the road, the blue and white and red and white cafes offer the distastefully named but delicious AB a tray of euros, chips and sauce. Just don't ask which cafe makes the better AB. <laughs> and of course, there's no escaping Adelaide's wine culture. If you don't feel like driving to the Barossa or McLaren Vale, you can taste South Australia's world famous wines at Bacchus Bar in Hanley Square or at the Universal Wine Bar, where Britney Spears was rumoured to frequent during her tour of Australia. If wine's not your thing, you can try the locally brewed Cooper's Beer on tap at the Ale House on Hutt Street. So, the next time someone asks you what there is to do in Adelaide, you now have something to say. Oh yeah, and tell them it's heaps good. <laughs>